I'm introducing the December Dress For My Day Challenge. Join me. Well, hello ladies, welcome to today's video. This is a bonus video. I'm simply sharing with you our December Dress For My Day Challenge. Have you been taking my monthly challenges? We have a lot of fun with those, especially in my private Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, I know not everyone is, but if you are on Facebook, I hope you'll join us there. You do have to answer a few questions to get into the group because we try to keep it a very safe space. But that is where so many women have gathered across the world, I guess you'd say around the world, <laughs> and are sharing um, their outfits, their beauty inspiration, just so many things. I think you would really enjoy it. But let's get going here. By the way, just in case someone happened in here who's not been here before, my name is Kay and I blog at Dress For My Day where I encourage women to get dressed in a beautiful way that is fitting and that is inspirational because we are influencers and we've got so much left to contribute to this world and we wanna get dressed for our day. But at the end of every day's post, I also include a blessed for my day portion. You see, I think it's really important that we be a blessing to each other also. And that leads me to the theme for our December challenge. It is bless their hearts. <laughs> Now, maybe that sounds kind of strange. Let me unpack it for you. First of all, I'm from Georgia originally. I live in Ohio now, but I'm a Southern girl. And you know, Southern ladies have been picked on for years for saying, well, bless her heart. And thinking that that's some kind of a snide remark or some kind of a passive aggressive remark. Let me tell you something, that may be, but I have never once said bless her heart and meant anything malicious or snide by that. And I don't think most other Southern ladies do either. When I say bless your heart, I mean it. <laughs> I really want God to bless you. I want to speak a blessing into your life. And you know, I think that's what Christmas really is about in many ways for us when it comes to our relationships with other people. We want to be a blessing to others at Christmas and in the month of December. So I thought that whole theme of blessing other people should be our theme for December. So the overall theme is bless their hearts. But let me unpack that for you. We always break it down into four components, style, beauty, inner beauty, and fitness. So let's talk about those four. First of all, style. The theme for style is get dressed to bless. And what I mean here is, you know, once again, it's really just that inspiration to get dressed for your day. Um, get dressed so that you are a blessing to those that you live with. But I do encourage you to take it beyond that. I'd love to see your outfits that you put together that you're going to wear when you go do something to bless somebody else. Maybe you are going to take gifts to somebody. Maybe you're going to deliver lunch to somebody. Maybe you're going caroling. <laughs> Um, maybe you're going to run some errands for somebody and you want to be a blessing to them. Show us how you got dressed to go do that. You know, once again, I believe that us ladies in our 50s and up, we have so much to contribute to our world. And I want us to get dressed in order to bless. Beauty, the theme for beauty is... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Give beauty to bless. And by that, I mean, I'd like for you to think of maybe there are some charities, some nonprofits that you could give something to that would help another woman feel beautiful. I know in the past, in my community, we had a center for women who were in abusive relationships where they could seek refuge. And one year we went there, we did a party for them, we took gifts and things like that. We had games, we painted their nails, we just had a fun time. Now I know we might not be able to do that sort of thing this year with the pandemic that we're in, but I bet you could call a center like that and give something to them, probably something new, not something used, but maybe manicure sets, maybe nail polish, maybe hygiene supplies, you know, maybe clean, um, you know, beauty cleansing bars and, you know, facial cleansers and things like that, or shampoo and body wash. I'd like for us to think of creative 
creative ways to give beauty to bless. At the same time, maybe you might put together something beautiful, a basket that's beautiful or a, a potted plant that's beautiful and give it to someone to bless. All right, for fitness, the challenge is do a blessing. <laughs> Now that may sound really crazy, but what I mean by that is I encourage you and challenge you to physically get out there and do something that blesses someone. Maybe there's someone in your neighborhood who cannot um, you know, get the snow off of their driveway or who can't sweep their own uh, porch or who cannot uh, you know, rake up their leaves and you could do that for them. Maybe there is um, somebody in your church who's older than you and they're not as healthy and as well as you and they could really benefit from you coming over and checking the batteries and their smoke detectors or changing out light bulbs or things like that. So I encourage you maybe with your spouse, maybe with uh, your children, but to do something that blesses others. And then fourth is our inner beauty challenge, which is speak a blessing. You know, we speak a blessing into somebody's life when we say something that is encouraging, when we say something that's affirming, when we promise them that we will be walking with them through something, when we envision something for them, we say, I see that this is happening in your life, this is a good thing. You know, lots of times we feel a blessing for somebody, but we often forget to actually speak it into their lives. We all need to hear words of blessing. And what I want to challenge you to do is if you are on Instagram or Facebook, I encourage you to get on stories, Instagram stories or Facebook stories and speak words of blessing there. You know, it's not just influencers who can use that feature on those platforms. And wouldn't that be great if you got on Instagram stories or Facebooks and just spoke words of encouragement, beautiful words of kindness and grace. We really could use <laughs> some gracious words on the airwaves out there. So that would be a great place for you to do. And if you do that, I want you to tag me uh, address for my day. You can find my tag. I'll leave, leave those in the description box below and in all the stuff here on our Facebook Live group too. But make sure that you tag me and that you use our hashtags so that I can see what you've done. I would love for you to do that. But also, of course, speak those words of blessing to those that you live with and those that you encounter. That would be a great way to fulfill this challenge. I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Remember, it's totally up to you. I'm going to give you rest of the information on our Facebook Live page and also on my blog. So be sure to check out there for all the other details. Thanks so much for joining me for these monthly challenges. I really enjoy seeing you uh, fulfill them and take the challenge. All right, bye now.